Look at that dog. In 2018, when Carter Center Country Representative Dr. Hubert Zirumwabagabo visited this Republic of Chad community, guinea worm cases were on the rise. People are really concerned about the guinea worm in their village. They have seen many of their dogs being, becoming infected. But in one year, between July 2019 and 2020, the number of dogs infected with guinea worms in this Central African country decreased by one quarter, and human cases dropped from 37 to just nine. <laughs> this is encouraging news for the Carter Center and Partners, whose mission was on track to wipe out this disease that once affected millions of people worldwide, but took an unexpected detour when infections began showing up in animals, primarily in hundreds of domesticated dogs in southern Chad, meaning this waterborne parasitic disease was recirculating in community environments. À finir avec cette maladie, les enfants que vous voyez vont être à l'école en bonne santé. Les papas, les mamans qui vont au champ pendant la période de, 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 de culture vont normalement assurer leurs travaux champêtres et ça, ça peut même booster l'économie localement. For more than three decades, the guinea worm eradication program has relied on local commitment to reduce cases in humans by 99.99%. So when animal infections surfaced, the program knew community involvement would be key. We work together with the community. They really feel engaged and they're part of the process. Village volunteers, there are thousands across Chad, call on neighbors to look for new cases. And domestic dogs are routinely checked for signs of guinea worms. Those with infections are cared for and safely tethered to keep them from entering water sources until the worms can be gently removed. And dedicated guinea worm program staff have stepped up interventions. They have increased by five-fold the number of ponds treated with a safe larvicide called abate, intensified community engagement and surveillance, and ramped up investigations of suspected infections. Reinforced health education messages encourage villagers to filter their water or drink from borehole wells. And since locally caught fish may harbor the guinea worm parasite, People are urged to thoroughly cook their catch and bury leftovers to keep animals from eating them. Bon, on est dans un triangle. Vous avez la communication, vous avez l'éducation, vous avez les changements de comportement. The program is cautiously optimistic these amplified interventions are working, but they're also patient, expecting it will take at least a year of close surveillance before they're confident these efforts will eliminate guinea worm from Chad for good. <laughs> Yeah, I thought for football on the